operating system. Okay. So, you know that uh, it basically operates the whole thing. So, as a single word, we can say this is a, that's why it is an operating system. Before uh, going to details, we have to categorize the computer into two parts. That is the software and hardware. Okay. So, the part uh, which is electronic device along with which is touchable which is repairable which is also uh, uh, we can see that is basically the hardware whereas the software is not visible and we cannot touch it's a setup program and do a particular task that is known as a software right so software has again categorized into <clears throat> two types that is the system software and the application software so the software which is uh, used for the system system and to operate the system known as the uh, known as the system software and the software which is used for the human being for application purpose known as the application software now these are two types and the application of system software like operating system linker loader assembler these are the example of uh, system software whereas whereas uh, photoshop corel draw <coughs> ms office these are basically the uh, application software i mean word excel powerpoint these are basically the i uh, corel draw photoshop whatever we are using for our purpose so that is basically for the application software so operating system belongs into the uh in the in the uh, system software category right so what is operating system uh, operating system is a system software which is an intermediator the term used here is the intermediator intermediator between what intermediator between the hardware and the user or you can say intermediator between the computer and the user so it can act as an interface between the hardware and the user or the computer and the user and it provides an environment it provides an environment where the user can perform their own tasks where user can perform their own tasks that is known as the software so it's a system so software and is a set of programs which is an intermediate between the computer and the user and it provides an environment where user can perform their tasks known as the operating system so i am saying that uh, it provides an environment where user can perform their own tasks so if i consider uh, different types of operating system is there for example windows is an operating system so whenever we are using windows in our laptop or pc basically it will provides an environment where we can perform their own tasks so if i use the operating uh, windows operating system it <coughs> provide the different type uh, it will provide the different type of interface uh, with respect to different application where we can perform their own how uh, we can perform our own tasks suppose uh, if i want to do some official calls if i want to do programming uh, accordingly the windows will provide the environment but at the same time, if we want, if we use the use the Linux operating system, uh, it its environment is totally different. So uh, uh, Windows provides the GUI uh, facilities, whereas uh, Linux does not provide such type of GUI facility. It is basically command based, right? So, but the task will be same. But the you can perform the same task in different environment. I mean, using different operating system, no problem at all, right? So that's why it is an operating system and without operating system, you cannot perform any type of tasks. If you think that uh, I want to do any type of jobs uh, uh, without uh, using the operating system, that is not possible. So minimum you need an operating system, then you can add something or you can delete something. Uh, that depends upon you, then which one you will uh, keep in your computer or not, that is totally depends on you. But without computer, without operating system, you cannot think that. So minimum you need an operating system. You may insert, uh, you may load different type of uh, operating system 
up to you and if you know the operation how to operate that one okay so suppose consider that uh, I, I i am i am comfortable in linux and i am comfortable uh, in ubuntu then i can go for that because it has a uh, different uh, advantage with respect to windows first of all uh, there is less chance of uh, virus attack okay and everything uh, every software is basically available pardon me i mean to say that uh, all the softwares and uh, licenses are free there in ubuntu we don't have to yes. purchase anything everything is free and open source uh, uh, yes yes i am telling that that is, everything is freely available you can access freely but uh, if you use the windows then you have to pay for windows uh, you have to again pay for different uh, software like if we are using office package free uh, whatever we are using but it is not freely available basically we are using the pirated version right so yes, if i want to uh purchase that one of each then i have to pay or we have to pay for it but if you want to if you use the uh, linux or uh, like ubuntu software uh, operating system then you don't have to pay because it is all the software are open source it is available on the net you can download it and you can use it so virus attack software cost everything uh, is uh, less with respect to windows but you may ask why people Uh, go for Windows operating system and not for uh, Ubuntu or Linux, because uh, Win- Windows is so much user friendly uh, you cannot imagine that that a, a, a novice person who doesn't know the computer and uh, in his life uh, he does not use uh, any computer. Uh, so that is the first time he can easily access it because it is basically GUI based. You can easily operate it, but You don't need to write any type of command. You need not to uh, remember anything to operate that uh, any type of application on it. If you want to do something in the Linux or Ubuntu uh, application, you need it. Uh, you you have to knowledge in the uh, operating system because uh, you have to do that using uh, some command because it's oh, nice. very command based, command based. Okay. So uh, now Ubuntu provides some uh, GUI interface still. if you want to do something more uh, you have to you have to know uh, you, you have to know the command because without command it, it cannot go further okay so that is not how you, you can say user friendly whereas windows is more user friendly that's why if we if you see uh, the total uh, statistics then you will see that uh, maximum people use the uh, windows operating system okay but if you consider with respect to industries and so on so on then Uh, you will see uh, that uh, they basically pay for the uh, linux operating system okay so what are the difference between this uh, linux operating system windows operating system and so on so on so there are mainly uh, three types of operating system that uh, that is uh, uh, single user single tasking single user multitasking and multi user multitasking okay so based on tasks and based on user we can we can categorize the uh, operating system in different types okay so whenever i am talking about uh, uh, talking about the uh, windows uh, sorry uh, uh, single user single single tasking operating system that means uh, that means here a single user i mean a one uh, person can use that operating system at a time and it can perform a single task i mean you can do anything on your computer or in your desktop you can de- do a particular task but you cannot perform more than one task and the example of single user single tasking is the dos operating system you know that dos is the uh, oldest operating system uh, it is also uh, developed by microsoft inc and you know that uh, that microsoft company the uh, the owner or the founder of that microsoft is the bill gates you know and uh, make to make it uh, user user uh, friendly and to make it gui based then from dos uh, the windows concept is came and they developed it uh, by the microsoft company okay. so the product of uh, microsoft is basically the windows so we using we use that and also dos uh, is also the product of microsoft and 
DOS means disk operating system. It is also command based, right? It is also command based, and you know that DOS has different version. Okay, so basically, like like Windows, Windows Five, uh, Windows Seven, uh, Windows Ten, Windows XP, uh, Vista uh, Fourteen, and so on, so on. So there are so many versions available in the Windows. Similarly, there are different version is uh, was also available in the Windows. Sorry, DOS. Okay, so. The DOS is single user and the single tasking. A single user, a one uh, person can use the system at a time and can perform a uh, task, a single task, not more than that. And uh, then the single user multitasking example in Windows. We here we a single user. We use the uh, operating system at a time in our computer or laptop and perform at a time many times if we wish provided right and now you may ask uh, what do you mean by single tasking and the uh, multitasking you know i if i if i give you a simple example then you can easily understand of what i want to say and what do you mean by multitasking and single tasking suppose you know that uh, in your desktop suppose you are writing some program so at the same time you are thinking that uh, i am feeling so many uh, so much bored uh, so if uh, one music is uh, going background then there is they, they, it will be better for me so just you open an uh, window for the music and you play it so in the background for one window the music is playing and in another window you are writing your program and so on so on or suppose you are uh, doing some drawing or whatever be and if you uh, suppose you need a video and uh, seeing the video you can do some modification or what we want to do so at the same time you are opening a music video music and uh, at the same time parallel you are opening another another video uh, or window for the video uh, to how to do this uh, uh, how to load the linux in your system you're just opening this one so one video is going on in a video uh, in, a, in, in another uh, window uh, in the same desktop another is for music another is for your program you see at the same time three videos are going on okay so three tasks is going on so that's why a single user can perform multitasks so it is basically a single user and multitasking at the same time multiple tasks are performing that's why there is a single user and multitasking and whenever I am talking about the multi-user multitasking, it means that at the same time, so multiple users user can access the the operating system or computer, and they also perform uh, the multiple tasks. That is basically your multi-user multitasking operating system. And Windows also support this one. Also. So in this way, the uh, operating system is categorized. Okay. So come to the next point, how we will discuss more that what is operating system, what does, what OS does and structure of OS, evolution of OS from batch processing to time sharing operating system and uh, operating system function, main function of OS and types of OS and uh, this must, okay. So you know that operating system is a software which makes a computer to actually work. It is a software that uh, that enable all the program use uh, we use the OS organizes and controls the hardware so not only it controls the software it also controls the hardware OS act as an interface between the application program and the machine hardware right I have already told you and the example of operating system are Windows Linux Unix Mac OS uh, and etc you know that uh, I think you have heard the name Linux and you also have heard the name uh, Unix because uh, the structure of Linux is mainly based on the Unix. So uh, Unix is uh, more older than the Linux, and it is basically based on that. Uh, Linux is based on that uh, Unix structure, I mean, based on the kernel and shell program. And there is another operating system known as Mac OS. Mac OS means the Mac Macintosh OS operating system. So this Macintosh OS basically used uh, for uh, a particular. <laughs> So Macintosh OS to the Apple user, right? Apple, Apple, Apple. So Apple uses 
and and uh, mac basically the product of apple so the mac os is mainly used in the uh, apple uh, apple left off and uh, i mean its product okay so you cannot use uh, in your system because it, it does not uh, it, it it will not match with the hardware okay so other than this you know i, I think uh, you must know uh, we are using the different type of different types of uh, mobile right so mobile you can consider as a machine so it needs a operating system if i we consider the uh, smartphone obviously it's not say bar phone and uh, it's a smartphone and a smartphone have a, a operating system that is basically uh, the operating system and this operating system is basically known as android operating system right so android uh, basically uh, is uh, one type of uh, uh, operating system we use uh, in our uh, different types of uh, operating system okay different type of uh, uh, laptop sorry mobile phone okay now an operating system performs basic tasks such as controlling and allocating memory so you know that uh, when we want to do something uh, work in our computer so suppose we are using uh we are we are we are, we are uh, running a program in our system and that program taking some input and it also gives some output and we want to store that output in our system then everything is basically controlled by the operating system and whenever we uh, want to uh, uh, give some space or we want to store something in our, uh, in our systems i mean in the hardware then to allocate uh, to store that uh, information we need to allocate the memory that is basically your allocation of memory and that allocation of memory is basically done by the operating system partitioning system request so or prioritizing system request so uh, suppose you are asking something to do in our system and i am also asking to do something uh, in the same system or somebody also asking to do something in this system now who will get chance first so based on priority uh, it is allowed to the dash that task that who will get chance now uh, is basically be uh, done by this operating system because uh, there are different algorithms are there uh, for for uh, allocation or for the request that is uh, we know that there are several algorithms are there that like first come first come who will come first he or she will get first chance and then uh, shortage job first so whose job is short uh, he will get chance first because suppose there are uh, five people in front of a uh, in front of a uh, lady and uh, the everyone have the a uh, job and which will take uh, suppose two hours or five hours right so suppose five people take uh, 24 hours or 25 hours and uh, the lady have a job which is for uh, 10 minutes right or five minutes so that we are thinking in this way that why she will wait for the work of 5 minutes and for the work for work of 5 minutes she she has to wait for 25 hours it's not possible so algorithm has changed and design an algorithm based on this concept that whose job is small will get chance first and whose job is uh, job is the uh, long he will get chance last that is known as the shortage job first algorithm then there is some people that uh, they are thinking also thinking uh, it has also some disadvantage why what type of disadvantage suppose uh, there are uh, uh, 10 people uh, or there are five people or 10 people you can say and the 10 position there is a people uh, person that uh, who starts is for uh, uh, one hour uh, but uh, in front uh, of him there are four people who starts is more or less everyone have uh, five hours so five for the 20 hours but the uh, 10 people about 5 people uh, have a task that is for the 10 minutes now and then 6 people for 1 hour 7 people for half an hour now in this way it is going on and if we give chance for these people uh, having the uh, working time is very low then the first people whose task is long 
he will not get chance in any because the tax is coming always and whose job is less he will not get chance get chance first and he will not get chance but if he get chance it will take some time so then we are thinking the scientists are thinking in such a way that uh, it is not good whose job is big and standing in the first position uh, he is not getting chance that's why based on that there are there is another algorithm designed that is known as the round book that every people would get chance for same time and whose job is bigger or larger he has to wait for something but his job is completed one by one okay so every people will take get chance 10 minutes so 10 minutes 10 minutes go goes on and that after completion was cycle again it is going for second cycle then 20 minutes is completed and when 20 minutes is completed the second person uh, whose job is 20 minutes uh, will finish his job and uh, will uh, get back okay so that is known as the uh, round robin operating system which is not for you i am just saying for your understanding so uh, that is another type okay then the controlling input and output device so whatever we are giving into the system through input device like monitor uh, sorry like a keyboard mouse and uh, we are getting some output from monitor printer whatever the things are there but everything is controlled by this operating system okay so everything is linked with this system because you know that whatever you want to do in your system you have to link with that okay i mean if you do not link then how uh, can i understand this that these people are from uh, uh, computer science these people from mathematics it is not possible okay so that controlling input and output device is done by this operating system then that then the facilitating uh, network so network system will be uh, controlled and facilitated by this uh, operating system and then uh, managing file system so we have the file management system in our system different files folder are there how can we organize it how we uh, will uh, get back the information from that system everything is basically managing file uh, everything is managed by this operating system now you see the structure of this operating system at the core uh, there is a hardware and above that hardware there is a software that is operating system and then there is a uh, system programming and at the end uh, or at the in front of user there is an application software okay so application software system software then the uh, software that is basically operating system and hardware so there is a link between the hardware and the operating system now the structure of operating system of four layers that is first one is basically the hardware consists of cpu uh, main memory io devices and operating system software includes process management strict routine memory management routine and input output controls routine and file management routines okay. then the system program this uh, layer consists of compiler assembler linker etc and uh, the application software this is dependent on user need that is uh, x railway reservation system bank database management system okay whereas the system program is basically the it consists of compiler assembler linker Then the evolution of uh, operating system, the evolution of operating system went through seven major phases. Okay, so how the operating system evolved or the evolution of operating system. Six of them uh, significantly changed the way in which user accessed computers through the open shop, batch processing, multi-programming, time sharing, personal computing and distributed system. Okay. six of them significantly changed the way in which they in which uh, user access the computer and in the seventh phase the foundation of uh, concurrent programming were developed and demonstrated in model operating system so this is your uh, 
continuation where we are uh, tabulate the information in uh, tabular form where there is a major phases uh, technical innovation and then the operating system first one is the uh, open shop and technical innovation is uh, basically the major the idea of operating system okay then the operating system ibm 701 open shop in 1944 54 they developed it that is ibm 701 open shop then the best processing best processing tape batching file in file out scheduling then the bks system in the multi programming so processor multiplexing individual operations demand paging input output spooling priority scheduling and the remote job entry and for that at last supervisor that is uh, exc2 system in 1996 uh, 1966 uh, this is for this system then the time sharing simultaneous user interaction online file system then uh, multis file systems are there unix 1974 online operating system then the combined programming hierarchical systems extensible kernel parallel programming concept secure parallel programming then the rc4000 revolution or rc4000 system 13 inner system in 1972 14 bosch system in 1975 then the personal computer and graphic user interface is came in and os6 is the pilot system of 1980 in the distributed system, uh, in distributed system, uh, remote servers are there, and WFS file server, Unix, United, ERC, sorry, RPC, and 24 MU bus system. Now, uh, it is not in detail for your syllabus. Still, I am telling uh, you something that Basper system is a system. Basically, there uh, the task is done by first come first services. Okay. Who will get first? Who will come first? Who will get chance first? Okay. So, uh, BAS is set of jobs with similar needs together and execute at a time. The OS was simple. It was the, its major task was to transfer control from one job to next job. The job was uh, submitted to the computer operation in form of punch cards. At some later time, the output appeared. The operating system was always resident in the memory and that is for I, for that is for uh, next slide and uh, common input device were card readers and tape drivers so this is your best processing system where operating system lies above the user program ids okay so multi programming is means that multiple program uh, multi programming is a technique to execute number of uh, programs simultaneously by a single process that i have already said that multiple programming are performing or executed simultaneously in multi programming number of processes decide main memory at a time the os picks and begins to execute one of the job in the memory in any io wait happened in a process then the cpu switched from that one job to another hence the cpu is not ideal at any time 
this is the case in multi programming so super utilization is maximum throughput is obviously maximum that's a people will prefer for this multi programming operating system so job one job two these are the different types of job okay now we ask what do you mean by job actually job means any type of task is known as job suppose you are uh, compiling a compiling a program that is one task another one is uh, write, uh, writing a program or giving a program in the system for another execution so these are the different types of jobs okay the main memory uh, consists of 15 jobs at a time okay the cpu executes it but one by one advantage is efficient memory utilization through code increases and cpu is never ideal so performance increases you see if cpu is being uh, ideal then we will get the less output Then the time sharing that here the time is shared by the different jobs and tasks. Okay, so time sharing, or you can say multitasking, is a logical extension of multi-programming. Okay, so it's a part of you can say that time sharing and multi-programming. So multiple jobs are executed by switching the CPU between them. Multiple jobs are executed by choosing the CPU between them. Okay, so you know that uh, I have already told you that multiple jobs are switching from suppose uh, for every job there is uh, one minute is given to every job. Then after completion of one minute in job uh, one, it will switches from job one to job two. There it will executes for one minute. Then again in this way. Uh, the job are executing and switching from switching the CPU between them. Okay, in this the CPU time is shared by different processes, so it is called time sharing systems. The time is shared between the different processes. Okay, so it is called the time sharing system. And the time slice is defined by the OS and sharing CPU size between processes. You know that uh, what do we mean by uh, time slice? So time slice is nothing but a particular time is uh, allowed or is fixed for a particular job. Okay. So suppose uh, 10 millisecond is is a time slice or 5 millisecond is a time slice for every job okay so that is your time slice <clears throat> example of time sharing is the multis unis these are the time slices then the operating system function program creation program execution input output operation error detection resource allocation and accounting and protection then uh, I have already told you, based on user, it is two types, single user system and multi-user system. Okay. So single user system means at a time, yes, a computer or laptop is used by a single person. Okay. So that's why it is a single user. But And everyone, not only that, that we have a, we have a computer and my, myself have a, uh, mine have a, laptop so you have your own operating system i have my own operating system that is means for two person you need two operating system so you using a single operating system we can do the single tasks but there are some operating system where if you use that operating system a single operating system can be used by the different machine or different process uh, different laptops or computers that is multi, multi user okay that is multi user for example if you consider the unix operating system unix operating system is a uh, multi user operating system your system has the unix and other people 
has no operating system they can share your system through net or they can uh, perform their uh, own tasks in this uh, linux operating system so at the same time uh, this operating system can be used by the different users. that is basically the multi-user operating system okay and the example of single user operating system is dos okay so uh, provide a platform only the one user at a time they are popularly associated with the desktop operating system which run on standalone system where no user accounts are required okay so example is cross ticks operating system then <coughs> multi-user operating system provides uh, regulated access for the number of users by maintaining a database uh, of known user and differs to computer system that support two or more simultaneous user another term of multi-user is the time sharing system all mainframe and are multi-user systems all mainframe computer services basically are multi-user systems examples is the unix so unix operating system is i have told you that unix is a multi-user operating system so the type uh, types of uh, OS based on user and tasking that is the uh, single user single tasking is the dos and the single user uh, multitasking system is the windows and the multi-user multitasking operating system is the linux so these are the multi-user multi multitasking operating system okay then we will see another thing Actually, for a bit, we can do a little bit of 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 এখন <laughs> Actually, actually, the paper ta shita hotche je hardware ta in general hobe toriye hotche by the other company and software ta mane opening Windows ta ye use ko Microsoft toriye hotche. Ebar je company ta hardware toriye hotche mother board ami kothar kotha bolte Intel. So Intel basically uh, go for the Windows operating system. Kano ta dekhiye je uh, Windows are basic sale at this Tarupore, a uh, base for the compatibility for a base for a the processor. I'm going to say, put it to do a allocation of the donor dual core issues to buy i7 i5. A glue for a base for a ever operating system to put chicken to pepper to the data. They for the Apple, uh, would there would there shop kitchen with the Nijesh. 
so the jinishta ora kore seta hocche je for the security if you if you see the apple phone apple phone iphone jeta shobtai o der nijeshsho tar karon hocche je oi khane kintu ami ei ki bole play store theke ei somosto app gulo okhane store korte na okhane apple store oi 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 jinish guloi okhane chole oder nijeshsho badbakare cholbe na or phone ta kintu orai toiri korche ebar ekhane android ta android ta amra ki korchi android ta ekta company banacche मान जार जो ने जेज निश्चित हो या शुभिदा शेटा अच्छे ओपन हुए जार पड़े एनीबॉडी कैन हैक योर फोन एनीबॉडी कैन एक्सेस योर मशीन एंड कैन स्टोर योर डेटा और इनफॉरमेशन वेरेस यू आर नॉट परमिटेड एंड यू आर नॉट एलिजेबल और आई विल नॉट से दैट एलिजेबल आई विल से दैट यू यू कैन नॉट यू क� and uh, i mean the apple uh, laptop okay because everything for there and it is not shareable to other people and people say that if you consider the security then apple has the maximum security so the people who basically trading online and want to do something uh, trading uh, in the uh, in the online so then th basically uh, different uh, money i mean uh, huge amount of money or transaction uh, happen in this mobile phone or laptop so if anybody hack your system then everything will be in trouble but the people who are using the apple phone you cannot access you cannot hack that phone or you cannot hack the information from that uh, apple uh, phone or iphone or machine okay so security is a very good factor and uh, as the system and the upper, I mean, high hardware and uh, software everything is developed by that company so that's why it is not possible whereas windows for windows uh, they are not making the hardware they are only making the software so they have a tie up that uh, basically that uh, we are going to develop uh, this type of uh, motherboard and processor uh, intel says and uh, they are doing they are uh, they are preparing the operating system accordingly because if we do not change something for upgradation so everything will be stopped and the business will not uh, going on okay so if i have a machine and if if i do not want to change the operating system so every people will using that operating system for 10 50 60 years so that not possible so software uh, selling will be stopped or hardware selling will be stopped and no upgradation will be performed okay so done that's why uh, after a certain time they they basically uh, invented the or uh, they basically uh, provide the new type of hardware and new type of software which have some more advantage than the uh, previous one okay that is the case nothing else सर किधर लिनक्स के क्षेत्र में तो सर कोनो कुछ तोड़ी हुआ है ना वाना उड़ा तो आम्र जे कोनो सिस्टम में माने हार्डवेयर सिस्टम में मुझे लिनक्स के एक्सेक्टली लिनक्स टर लिनक्स टर बेपट्टा ही होते हो इड़ा हो माने और कोडिंग टाइ माने जेटा माने की बोल गो जे उधर जे पोर्ट टार की फॉर द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम शेटा that the oldest uh, oldest uh, version of the linux okay so you will see ubuntu ubuntu 19 ubuntu 14 ubuntu 15 ubuntu 11 ubuntu 10 if, if you use the ubuntu 7 uh, now the current machine it will not support or the system or you will not get that much of uh, performance or you will not get that much of uh, output if you use that so so they also change the the the, the as it is open source you can also modify the uh, operating system and you can uh, place it in the uh, uh, wave okay so you will get the latest version based on the latest uh, hardware 
so everything have the latest option okay it's not like okay. that, that you can use uh, a particular operating system uh, i mean uh, linux operating system which is uh, developed in 10 years back and you want to use that thing in this uh, in this uh, system current system that is also not possible but the thing is this that you can use the same operating system uh, for the different machine because the uh, it, it has a internal structure because it does not use something in the operating system and in the in the main part of the hardware so that is that is adjustable for this type of code okay so she can act a paper hacker is it a camera at this book about you took command boost she don't know she does you know machine is your number you want to buy it a camera for the body that open to her son as a problem and yes even a i mean i'm going to be in the area in a way i'm going to be in the area i'm going to be in the area i'm going to be in the area Ubuntu version for machine, Apple machine, set up over it to honey on the corner of a person. I don't know if you have a quote of beat machine, a quote of 32 beat, 64, every hour, a counter, a key, key, a 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 और रिजिमिस्टर शेटा होते हैं जो ये यूँ ना एक लोग डेवलपमेंट का दौर का रहता है ठीक है ना अदरवाइज क्या नो इटा ये हमें सब ऐसे एक तरीके से चली गई है इतना मार्केटर कोनो माने अग्रोगति हो गया तो इटा एक तरह मार्केटिंग पॉलिसी हो तार संग संग ये हमार अपग्रेडेशन पॉलिसी हो अपूर्ण � एबार, आमादेर जिता की बोले, अमी ये कथा बोल चिला, आई, ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के तरह बोल चिला, जिता जिता होते जे, अपना मेनली यूज़ जिता पोची, के आइतार विंडोज़, अथवा लिनक्स, ये दो चीज़ निश्चित अपना यूज़ कोडिया की, ठीक है जे, आर उन्नो गुलो किंतु अपना डॉस्टर्स आगे अमरा यूज़ कोट काम के तो अकुन किंतु अमरा शेहबे डॉस्टर्स गुलो आर यूज़ कोडी ना ठीक है सर सो जेटा अमरा यूज़ कोडी शेह डॉस वी की बोले विंडोज विंडोज टा के कोडे चे ना कोडे चे एक अपर गुलो अमरा देखते के एक तो जानते होंगे एवं की भावे की हो चे ना हो चे शेटा अमरा � main uh, advantage of this uh, windows operating system that is basically that it is gui based operating system i mean graphical user interface based operating system uh, is a type of user interface that allows user to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons okay on visual indicators so graphical icons means you know that uh, icons means it's a it's a small picture on the desktop or uh, by using that you can do some work the popular icons means the this pc uh, recycle bin uh, and the, you can say the google chrome uh, symbol these are the different types of icons so we can do any type of work using these icons okay just to double click on it uh, if you use the use the windows operating system in your desktop if you have the icons you just double click on it and it can be open and it can uh, work a particular task the gui is familiar to most of us today in either the uh, mac or the windows uh, operating system okay so both uh, mac also use the gui operating system windows also use the operating system the manager of a computer, we can say this is the operating system, and uh, it is basically the set of programs and the different types of operating system. I have already told you Mac OS, Linux, Unix, and Windows operating system. Okay. And the Windows operating system uh, is developed by the company Microsoft Corporation. Okay, so uh, and the owner of this uh, company is the William 
Henry Bill Gates. The full name of Bill Gates is William Henry Bill Gates. Is the chairman of this Microsoft company, and he developed the first version of Windows UI for MS DOS in 1983. Okay, so MS DOS in 1983 is developed for uh, is the first version of uh, you can say the Windows UI. Okay, so Windows UI for uh, MS DOS in 1983. And nowadays we have different version of uh, Windows that is Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, okay, Windows 14, and so on and so on. Similarly, uh, we have the different version of uh, Linux operating system and the DOS operating system also. Okay. And whenever we are using the uh, Windows operating system, you know that we are using different icons, we are using different folders files so icon is basically that it has a small level picture for the icons and just by clicking on each icon uh, using mouse pointer you can perform different tasks and program are arranged in different folders so you know that in your desktop you will see the different uh, yellow colors boxes are there that is basically the folder and folder contains the different files okay so file does not contain any folder and file cannot contain contain more file but a folder can contain more file okay so and you can easily understand that uh, <clears throat> that a folder have a single name but the file whenever you are using a different type of file suppose you are using a do, uh, word file so the extension will be something dot doc you are using a excel file so it will be excel is right so suppose you are using the uh, ppt file so it will be uh, dot ppt and suppose you are using C file programming for it to be .c. So every file have a have an extension, and by this extension you can easily understand the what type of file you are using. Okay, and uh, you can store that file in a particular folder. So, okay, so file folder both are the different types of icon. And the Windows desktop basically when we switch on the our computer, Windows operating system is automatically loaded, and uh, we get a uh, screen. Uh, which is known as the uh, desktop okay so the screen is called windows desktop and the desktop is the work area on which the other uh, object on which the object like icons menus windows and dialog boxes appear okay so different menus you will see they will you see the uh, tax bar you will see the start button start menus uh, so as under this uh, start you will see different menus you will see the different dialog boxes appear and if you want to search something you can put the information in that box and uh, there will be windows explorer it will explore the position of that file or folder so we can also add shortcuts on the desktop for files and folders that we frequently use the desktop of uh, one com computer may look different from that of another computer according in to its uh, setting okay so if you uh, set the desktop in and use the different uh, background you can set it and you can set the different uh, not only background the position of that uh, file folder everything you can uh, use and accordingly it will be displayed so a desktop uh, will always have one some common objects like icons tag bar start button these are the common bars okay so uh, it is common so icon basically the small level picture on the windows desktop they represents the file folders or programs okay so you can also move the file or folder uh, from the desktop so i mean uh, it will it will it will uh, it can be done by by uh, dra drag and drop method you can uh, select the file or folder then uh, using the mouse pointer you can drag it and put it in another place okay or you can copy and paste another place that is also possible okay so you can move the file or folder from one place to another place on the uh, desktop you can also uh, with the help of uh, mouse uh, you can also copy the file you can uh, paste the file in another place you can delete the file okay so many type of tasks sir, you can do uh, sir, you present 
না 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 প্রেজেন্ট করিনি আমি আসলে বলতে বলতে চলে যাচ্ছি প্রেজেন্ট করিনি আজকে সবগুলোই প্রেজেন্টেশন নেই আর কি করা হয়নি আর কি হ্যাঁ তো দেখছি আর কতটা আছে আর কি আসলে আমি সেটা যেটা করেছিলাম সেটা খুঁজেও পাচ্ছি না আর কি সেই জন্য আমি মানে আমার এটা বলেই আমারটা আমি বলছি আর কি এগুলোই করেছিলাম কিন্তু না কোথায় করেছিলাম আমার খুঁজে পাচ্ছি না আচ্ছা মানে তোরা শোন আর কি আমি খুঁজে পাচ্ছি না এতগুলো ফাইল ফোল্ডার রয়েছে তো আমার ইয়েতে ল্যাপটপে তো দেখতে হবে এগুলো খুব সব মানে তোরা তো সবাই অপারেটিং সিস্টেম মানে উইন্ডোজ ইউজ করিস তোদের ডেস্কটপ আছে এবার যেটা আছে উইন্ডোজের আন্ডারে সেগুলো সবই মানে তোদের কাছে নুন সেগুলো আর একটু বেশি বলছি আর কি ঠিক আছে আমি খুঁজেই পাচ্ছি না ওই জিনিসগুলো ঠিক আছে আমি বলি তা আমি দেখছি আর বলছি আর কি মোটামুটি যদি পেয়ে আমি দেখাচ্ছি তো আমাদের যেটা সেটা হচ্ছে যে হোয়াট আর দ্য মোস্ট কমন আইকনস অন দ্য ডেস্কটপ দ্যাট ইজ ইউজার নেম ফোল্ডার দিস পিসি নেটওয়ার্ক রিসাইকেল বিন মাইক্রোসফট এজ দিজ আর দ্য মোস্ট পপুলার অ্যান্ড কমন আইকন অন দ্য ডেস্কটপ ওকে সো হাউ ক্যান ইউ সিলেক্ট অ্যান্ড ডিসিলেক্ট দিস সিলেক্টিং অ্যান্ড সিলেক্টিং মিনস just you put on uh, the your mouse pointer on on the uh, particular file or folder and then you make a single click it will be selected and you just uh, move your mouse uh, pointer to the free space and again you click on the free space then it will be deselected so by this is basically selection and the deselection on uh, of the icon and whenever you want to uh, open the particular icon then you have to double click on it okay 
so username folder is a icon that represents a folder where we can save our files in the category of documents music picture videos etc and if we uh, do not specify the special location of any file that we wish to save it automatically gets saved in this folder okay and also this pc is this very uh, popular uh, icon every computer have this this pc uh, icon you will see uh, on your desktop uh, having a, a computer symbol then the, this pc icon displays everything about your own computer okay so everything about your own computer uh, it will displays okay and it shows the storage devices and store items suppose if you can explore your devices storage devices and stored items it help us in storing and finding our specific storage devices and then there is a uh, icon that is the recycle bin uh, and this uh, icon represents a folder where all the uh, deleted files are stored uh, and we can easily restore them is recycle bin and in future if you want to recycle bin okay so uh, you have to explore it and from the recycle bin and then you have to uh, restore from that position okay and then microsoft is basically this icon is used to connect to the internet and this uh, there is another of, uh, computers connected uh, to the network okay and uh, there are some task bar okay so uh, in windows uh, the task bar is the horizontal bar that uh, that uh, appears at the bottom of the screen okay so you will see a bar uh, at the bottom of your screen i mean in the desktop at the bottom of the screen you will see a bar okay so that is your task bar okay and that uh, it uh, displays some icons and information so at the uh, left uh, bottom corner you will see a box uh, that is basically the uh, four boxes uh, that is basically your start button and in between in the middle of the taskbar you will see some uh, icons displays there that is basically a quick launch bar and there is there is also some program tab okay and at the right side of the task uh, taskbar you will see some uh, icons is there uh, that is basically the system tray there you will see the network uh, that you will see uh, the uh, your volume okay so uh, this type of things uh, will be seen uh, in the uh, system tree okay and in the middle you will see some uh, icon that is basically a quick launch bar so what do you mean by quick launch bar it lies next to the windows button okay so it lies next to the windows button and uh, the quick launch bar has icons of some programs that we use frequently so what are the uh, icons you will use frequently that will be stored in the middle of this uh, taskbar okay so that is basically quick launch bar which we will we use uh, it frequently to open this program we need just uh, one click okay we need just one click remember uh, to open programs uh, from desktop we need to click twice if it is in the desktop i mean in the middle of the desktop you have to double click on it but if that icon are uh, shown in the uh, quick launch bar you can just click single with the help of single click you can open it just like for selecting the icon on the desktop uh, you can click single time 
and similarly by using single click you can open it if it is under this web plus bar okay and there is a system bar so uh, program tab program tab basically uh, beside the quick launch bar we can see uh, the tab showing the name of the program that is open so whatever the program are open that is showing after that uh, launch bar that is basically your your uh, program tabs okay and the system play i have already told you uh, it is used to show the uh, network volume date and time okay so the other icons displays in the location are volume control and uh, amplified us okay so it is used to uh, change date time volume from this location okay and then you have the shortcut menus so using shortcut menus you can quickly edit an object or data by choosing uh, commands directly from the shortcut menus so to display a shortcut menu right click on the object or an area to which a list of commands are there okay so uh, this is basically your uh, uh, windows uh, operating system uh, if i can remember more thing i will also uh, discuss with you then uh, we'll talk about uh, something on the uh, dos operating system okay so let me show now it is visible yes sir okay so now we will discuss about uh, the dos operating system so first of all uh, it is a single user single tasking operating system acha karu ki ei gulo bujhte oshubidha hocche eigulo to khub soja jinish ar ki boiteo peye jabe je mainly we are dividing the operating system what is operating system what are the and tax of operating system and what is windows operating system windows operating system na ki ki kori shei sob i bollam seta hocche tar pore protomoto amra categorize korlam operating system ke tinte type e based on tasking based on user right so single user single tasking single user multitasking and multi user multitasking operating system tasking mane je kaj gulo amra at a time korte pare amra ei jo উইন্ডোজ এই এই তো আমি এখানে কটা উইন্ডো খুলেছি বিভিন্ন একটা ধর গুগল মিটের একটা উইন্ডো খুলে কাজ করছি একটা প্রেজেন্টেশন মানে পিপিটি একটা শো করছি বা ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ডে আমি ধর একটা গান চালিয়ে দিলাম সেটা একটা তাহলে এতগুলো টাস্ক প্রত্যেকটা তো डिफरेंट डिफरेंट টাস্ক সেই যে डिफरेंट डिफरेंट টাস্ক আর পারফর্মিং সাইমালটেনিয়াস সো মাল্টিটাস্কিং আমি একটা উইন্ডো ইউজ করে মাল্টিটাস্ক এট সাইমালটেনিয়াস টাইম পারফর্ম করেছি সেটা ওকে করছে উইন্ডোজ করছে উইন্ডোজ এর আন্ডারে করছে তো মাল্টিটাস্কিং হচ্ছে সেই জন্য আর ইউজার কে আমি একটা সিঙ্গেল ইউজার একা একজনই আমি এইটাকে ইউজ করছি এই অপারেটিং সিস্টেমটাকে এই একটা অপারেটিং সিস্টেম আমি আরো একটা মেশিনের সঙ্গে কানেক্ট করে সেই ইউজ করছে সেরকম ব্যাপার না সেটা লিনাক্স এর ক্ষেত্রে বা ইউনিক্স এর ক্ষেত্রে আমরা এটা করতে পারি সেই জন্য মাল্টি ইউজার একটা অপারেটিং সিস্টেম কে ইউজ করতে পারে করে সেটা কাজ করতে সেটা দ্যাটস হোয়াই দ্যাট ইজ মাল্টি ইউজার মাল্টিটাস্কিং আর ডস হচ্ছে সিঙ্গেল ইউজার এবং সিঙ্গেল টাস্ক একটা কাজই ডস এ যদি আমরা করি এবং ডস যদি দেখিস তাহলে পারে তোরা বুঝতে পারবি আর কি যে ডস অপারেটিং সিস্টেম আছে বেসিক্যালি কমান্ড কমান্ড ফ্রম ফ্রম এ টু শো করাচ্ছি এটা পরে শো করাচ্ছি আবার
Can you see this black screen? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Visible. Yes, sir. So this is basically the DOS operating system. This is basically the based on command. Okay. So uh, if I write like this, uh, you see that I, I just use a command cd dot dot or cd slash. Okay. So basically, uh, it will change the uh, directory. Okay. So uh, one by one, the, the structure, tree structure will be changed. Okay. So you can uh, add something you can uh, actually now I am in the under original C drive. Before that, at the first time I was uh, under C drive, there is a user uh, directory, and under that user directory, there is a Rojot directory. So under 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 these two directory subdirectory, I can do some work. Okay. So uh, if I write CLS command, CLS, uh, CLS, sorry, CLS. What does it mean? CLS means Clear screen. Clear screen. It is a change directory. It is not la, not the compact disk. Uh, in 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 uh, with respect to memory, with respect to uh, storage device, CD means compact disk. But here, CD is a command, and this is basically the internal command. There are two types of command in DOS. That is the internal command and the external commands. So uh, internally, uh, some operation are there, some functions are there that can be done by this uh, type of uh, command known as the. Uh, internal commands and there are some commands uh, that is used for the uh, other operation or external operation that is known as the uh, external command okay another thing is that uh, we can like the tree command tree command is a is a is a uh, is the external command okay so you see can you see this uh, structure tree structure of uh, this uh, uh, yes, sir. And you can uh, stop it uh, now. Uh, you can just pause it, uh, or you can. So high ratio of the disk directory. That has the tree comment of the. Ah, ha. It has only shot the basic tree show for you. Okay, sir. So all of you show for you. Just pop, 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 pop. So. আমরা যেটা করতে পারি এইভাবে যে যতগুলো আমাদের পসিবল কম্বিনেশন এটা ওটা আছে সেগুলোকে আমরা এইভাবে এটাকে কন্ট্রোল করতে পারি নাও দা থিং ইজ হাউ হাউ সরি এটা ইয়ে হয়ে গেল স্টপ করে দিই আমি আবার এটাকে শো করাচ্ছি তারপরে আবার আসছি আর কি DOS, so DOS tabla ki bolla, this is basically the image DOS. Try to understand. Always. MS means what? Microsoft. Okay. So we 
we use MS Office. What does it mean? Microsoft Office. The developer is Microsoft. So MS DOS means Microsoft Dix Operating System. Okay. So Tim Peterson, you remember the name? Tim Peterson is the original author of this MS DOS and graduate from the from U of Washington in 1978 and worked as an engineer in settled computer product and designed an 8086 CPU card for is 100 bus in May 1979. Okay, so you know that there are different types of uh, CPU 8086. Actually, it is basically the microprocessor 8086 and 8085. So he was designed the 8086 CPU card uh, for S100 bus May in 1979. Okay, and began designing DOS in 1980s after IBM had released. Okay, so basically uh, he is working in the IBM company. Uh, released their new 8086 microprocessor. What I am saying actually. So uh, 8086 microprocessor is a 16-bit microprocessor. Now we are using uh, the processor uh, of 64-bit, right? So 16-bit, 32-bit, 64-bit. Now we are using 64-bit computer. So he designed for that. Okay, 16-bit for 16-bit microprocessor. And uh, objective of designing these doors is as simple as possible and make it fast and efficient and written in 8086 assembly language. You know that uh, maximum of different uh, system software are written in assembly language because uh, there is an assembler that assembler assembles this uh, source code into the machine language. Okay, I have already told you that assembler, linker, loader, these are the examples of uh, system software. Okay, so uh, these are used for only for the system okay so assembler is one type of system software and uh, we uh, the dos operating system is written in assembly language okay so this is uh, about the uh, information about this uh, dos operating system that in college peterson wrote a multitasking operating system for the j40 microprocessor so you know that uh, I think you can remember that uh, we have already told that first generation computer, second generation computer, third generation computer, fourth generation computer. Basically, the last generation computer we have seen it is based on the microprocessor, right? Fourth generation computer is based on microprocessor. So, uh, microprocessor itself, itself a computer, it has its own computing power. It can do some uh, operation. Uh, I I, th I think if, uh, I think students from uh, electronics and students from computer science they know the uh, microprocessor they have seen the microprocessor kit is available there uh, it's, it's, uh, it can perform uh, operation like the computer so there is some keys so based uh, pressing that key is uh, using some uh, commands so so there are some commands is also available you can do some operation so that mg86 uh, microprocessor and it is also for uh, based on that mg86 microprocessor there is a computer uh, that is uh, for F086 computer, right? So the Peterson had confidence in writing an OS for F086 computer, and Peterson uh, spent half of his time uh, working on QDOS. Okay, it's a, it is another type of operating system from April to July uh, 1980. So QDOS uh, was completed in July uh, 1980. Then. MS-DOS version 1, that is 1.0, was released in 1981. See the timing. In 1980, Peterson completed the QDOS, okay, in July. And in 1980, on August, MS-DOS version 1, I mean, MS-DOS 1.0 was released in August 1981 and was updated until april 1994 when it was replaced by windows 95 so you know that windows have as the first version of operating system is the windows 95 so as uh, it is uh, 
developed in 95 so that's why it is 95 okay. so then 98 you know that uh, based on the year it was developed like that and then after that uh, the name has changed not based on the year right so all version of windows still contain some types of dos so you will see your your computer you will see in your laptop and you, you will uh, search it uh, in your explorer you write just uh, image dos you will get the dos version of, by default it is uh, in build in your systems uh, in your uh, operating system so you can access it okay so that is it is written here all version of windows still contain some types of dos in windows 95 98 you can uh, go to run and type command to get DOS prompt in NT, Windows NT 2000 and XP. You, you can also type CMD and get DOS. Okay. So this is the development history. Uh, August 12, 1981, DOS 1.0 released by IBM's used Peterson 86 DOS. May 1982, DOS 1.1, IBM release of DOS to handle new double-sided drives. August 1982, DOS 1.25, Microsoft own release of DOS 1.1. March 1983, DOS 2.0 of IBM PCXT support uh, 10MB hard drive, three internal expansion slots, hierarchical tree structure, then uh, another version in March 1984, DOS 2.1 IBM release, handle hardware errors called PCGR 1984, DOS 2.11, 1984 again, DOS 3.0, IBM's 16 bit PC at the system, and November 1984, DOS 3.1 provides better aliasing made DOS treat directory as driver. Okay. Then January 1986, DOS 3.2, 1987, 3.3, 1987, 3.30, number 87, DOS 3.31. That is compact release support driver greater than 32 MP. Then 88, then 91, and then 93. In 1993, Mars DOS 6.0 Microsoft release. Okay, and in June 1991, DOS MS DOS 5.0, which is developed by Microsoft release, allowed DOS to resides in the area above 640k memory, provided support for loading device driver, provided an improved DOS chip. In this way, 1993, 1994, 1995, and so on. These are the different versions. And the basic structure, MS-DOS command, use the same structure command, source uh, destination switch. The switch will give option to the command. Example, suppose if you want to copy. I know that, you know that uh, how to copy a file? Simply, you just click on that file or folder, and then you right click on it then you choose the copy command click on it then the file will be copied or folder will be copied and where you want to place you go to that location and then again right click the mouse and paste choose the paste command and whenever you click on it then it will be copied now in DOS, the same thing can be done suppose you want to copy a file from drive a to drive c under some subdirectory then what it will pop, how can you copy you have to write first of all you have to go to the source uh, source uh, uh, file and the uh, you have to select the de destination file like this not here here you, what you will do you have to write the command just you write a colon means source location then write slash file dot txt so this is the source of the file location and then you have to write where you want to copy it. then c colon slash and 
slash then v so this is basically the under where you want to copy it so slash v will verify the file copied correctly so right uh, we'll verify the file copied correctly the prompt of uh, ms dos displays your uh, current directory okay so c colon dos commands means you are in that directory okay so the file name cannot be longer than eight character and the extension cannot be longer than three character okay so character like star plus and these cannot be used in the dos name okay so there is a wildcard character so what is wildcard character wildcard character will replace a single letter or word with wildcard so basically wildcard letter is like asterisk and question mark so asterisk will replace any input uh, input of character and uh, question mark will replace one okay, for example uh, copy a slash star dot txt i mean all the txt file star will replace all type okay, all the txt file will be copied to c drive we copy all text file from c uh, to drive c okay now example to copy a colon slash question mark question mark question mark question mark dot txt to c colon slash will copy any five letter text file to c drive as the five question is there so five character text file five character text file will be copied now i have already shown you what is the function of cd it is basically the change directory you can change the directory you use this command when you want to change the directory if you write only cd dot dot it will uh, go back the previous directory and if you write add something then you have to write cd and the name okay so for example cd cd c clone slash dos will bring you to the dos folder okay because i have write the dos cd dot dot will bring the previous history for example if you are in the cd colon dos folder dot dot will bring you cd dos okay and then the copy command you can copy from one position to another position you have to write this command okay copy i i, I mean i can you understand the part can i write copy you have to type everything in the dos prompt where i have shown you that uh, after greater than there is a uh, blinking uh, the cursor is blinking there, there you have to write copy a colon file dot txt to c colon slash then the file dot txt will be copied from a to c type okay okay sir then the basic commands of x copy x copy can move file directories and whole drive from one location to another location so it has more power than the copy command because if you want to copy the whole directory that is not possible the whole drive from one drive to another drive that is not possible by the copy command but x copy command can move files directory and the whole drives from one location to another location suppose uh, under c c directory you have something you want to copy all that information to the d drive so that then you can use this x copy command okay. Then there is a dr command. Dr command displays the the content of the folder. Okay. Then there is a del, del command. Del command will delete the any directory or file or folders. It will delete. Then the edit command. You can edit if you want to open a file, text file. Then you have to use the edit command. Then you can. Use the move command. So move command will move uh, from one location to another location. So what is the difference between between move command and 
uh, copy command and what is the difference between cut command and paste, uh, copy command so basically cut command is same as move command so when you cut a file the source file will be copied totally copied from that location and it will go to another position but if you copy something it is basically copy is nothing but it's a xerox copy okay so original file will be at the same position but you are getting a uh, xerox copy of that file or folder and it will be uh, copied to another position but if you cut it so the source file will be moved totally moved from that position to another position similarly we use the cut and copy command in windows but here we use the move command instead of cut command okay then rain command you know you can rename a file here rain is used to rename a file example rain file.txt myself.txt will rename the file.txt to myself my file.txt okay so basic command md md is used to make directory okay so you know that you can you can make a directory in dos uh, sorry uh, in, uh, in in windows just right click and then new new to folder okay so you can uh, make a uh, uh, folder or you can make also uh, the directory okay so if i use instead of cd if i use md is used to make a directory or, i mean folder in the ms dos for example md md my folder will make a folder called my folder in current location. then del tree so del tree command will uh, delete the folder and all the content including other folder okay example del tree c colon my folder will delete the uh, other uh, folder and all the contents okay then the tree command i have shown the tree command shows all of the folder and files in current directory like explorer in the windows okay then cls command i have shown you it will clear the screen then the attributes so attributes uh, are the properties of a file such as hidden read only archive or system file so using this uh, attribute we can check the file type and the properties of the file in ms dos you can view or change attributes with the attrib commands okay example attrib plus r file.txt will make the file read only mode so you know that uh, we can make a file that will uh, that uh, you can only read you cannot write you cannot modify you cannot edit it so we can make a file in the reading mode in the writing mode okay so using this attrib command in dos we can do that so if i write attrib plus r then the file name this will make the file as the read only mode okay then the swiss slash you can use the uh, help of swiss with any command it will give you command structure and the available switches then the dos internal structure so the structure of dos operating system for ibm pc compatible computers can be broke down into four distinct components that is the bios module kernel module command processor and the external commands okay so the bios command basically module includes the default resident drivers for console display and keyword line printer auxiliary dive a device date and time boot disk device and it also accommodates installable drive device equals to command in config.c you know that this command is very important config.c if you want to uh, install something then you have to use this config.c and then mouse.c will be enable the mouse uh, nc.c will uh, enable the nc port and so on okay clock.c etc and then there is a kernel uh, like the uh, unix command a unix uh, operating system 
it has the kernel and dos has the kernel it's the internal part so dos kernel performs the following functions file and record management memory management character de uh, device input output swapping other program access to real time clock and so on okay so by uh, ms dot dot sys we can do that and the command processor the command processor is also known as the shell and so two things and shell in kernel so command processor is used for the shell or the command interpreter the command processor is uh, responsible for uh, parsing and carrying out user commands including the loading and execution of other programs from dix okay the uh, command processor also includes the code for many of the most commonly used dos command known as the internal commands okay so i think uh, today i will stop here and uh, in the next uh, saturday i uh, sorry uh, friday i will complete the rest part okay so more or less maximum of uh, the things i have finished and uh, i will tell something about the linux operating system it is basically uh, the open source system okay so you can also modify it and it has some good advantage i have already told you that it is also command based is uh, nowadays we have the gui based uh, is also available here and it is uh, basically mainly the command based so uh, the source code is also available using that source code you can uh, modify it okay and uh, you can do uh, so many things uh, in uh, in uh, what they say uh, in uh, linux huh. so uh, this is uh, uh, very important for us uh, that uh, why we use uh, Linux operating system uh, that is uh, very important. Okay, so uh, actually Linux uh, uh, computer operating system was created in uh, 1990s uh, by finishing software engineer. Uh, according Don't to his, me. no, 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 no. Linux oh, or worlds. So as Linux we say L U L I N U X, but his name is l i n u s linus t o r v a l d s torvalds okay linus torvalds uh, developed the linux in 1990s okay early 1990s and uh, the it is basically the tree uh, software foundation is there and while still at, at the university of helkin institute Torvalds started developing uh, the Linux and created the system similar to Minix, Minix, M-I-N-I-X. Okay, so there is an operating system, Unix, Minix. Okay, and later the Minix uh, name is changed and uh, the name was Linux. Okay, so it's a it's a uh, Minix is a operating system like the Unix operating system. So later, uh, the uh, name was changed to uh, Linux. Okay. So you will see uh, him uh, in anywhere. Uh, you can search it uh, about the Linux. Okay. You will see the Linux operating system. And not only that. Uh, it has uh, the source code and you can get that source code from the uh, OS, uh, sorry, from the web and you can modify it and anybody can modify his uh, operating system. You know that uh, in, uh, in, in uh, Google, you can, uh, if you search, you can get different types of Linux operating system. I mean, Ubuntu, uh, Fedora, and there are so many versions of uh, Linux operating system is available. So you can use that and you can modify it and do that. Okay. Yes, sir. So today I stop here. Uh, next day I will complete. Okay. So okay, kindly. Sir.
kindly uh, take a snapshot uh, and uh, send me to them. 